To work with SharePoint Framework, you first need to set up a development environment on your local computer. Setting up development environment is nothing but installing few tools on your computer. In this video, I will explain you how you can set up a development environment for SharePoint Framework. While working with SharePoint Framework, you will come across three different terminologies which is Node.js, Gulp and Yeoman. I will also explain these terminologies in this tutorial as well. I would recommend you to go through this video to get understanding about how you can set up a development environment and how these three terminologies are related with SharePoint Framework. So without further delay, let's get started. Hi all, my name is Mayuraj Joshi from Office365Notes.com. On this blog, I write articles related to Office 365 technologies like SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Automate, etc. I would recommend you to go through that blog and subscribe to it so that you will get notified for all the future updates. So this is second session regarding SharePoint Framework course. In this session, we will see how you can set up a development environment for SPFX. So I will share my computer screen and walk you through step by step process for the same. So here is our blog. If you navigate to the top menu bar, you can see SPFX course under this, you can find the environment setup. So this is second session and as we proceed further, I'll keep adding the links here. So for now, just click on environment setup. You will be landed to this blog article. Here I have explained you how we can set up a development environment for SPFX in six simple steps. So the first step is installing the Node.js. So the question is what is Node.js or you might be knowing that or for someone the Node.js might be the new thing. So let me explain you quickly what is Node.js. So basically Node.js provides a runtime environment for your JavaScript execution means it provides a virtual DOM. To make it more clear let me open the console of this browser and I'll type uh, I will uh, define some variable and I'll then print it out so now you can see I have executed few JavaScript lines now how this browser knows that I have written this statement and I wanted to print something so basically there is a JavaScript engine which is present in the browser so that javascript engine executes this line or converts this uh, javascript code into machine readable format and then it will execute the uh, javascript code now uh, whatever code we write in spfx so for that we do not want to have the dependency of browser means whatever code we are going to write we need some environment that will do this task for us so basically node.js serves that purpose so node.js will provide a runtime environment for execution of our javascript code to provide the output so for example um, now we will install this node.js and I will show you how we can run this JavaScript even without running the even without having the browser so for uh, so let's first install the node.js so uh, to make sure that you should make sure that you have to install the version 10 of node.js and not the 9 or 11 or 12 because currently only version 10 is supported by spfx to install the node.js 10 version you just need to click on this link so that you will get landed to the latest uh, version 10.x versions of uh, uh, node.js or even you can type node.js version 10 and you will get landed to the official site just click on version 10 so these two links are same now at the bottom you can see there are two msi files one is for 64 bit another is for 32 bit so just click on that link for 64 bit and just install it i have already uh, downloaded that file so we just need to now run this file so before running this file uh, just open your command prompt 
and just check if you already do not have any uh, node.js version so to check the version just press node space hyphen v hyphen v stands for version now you can see there is no any node or node.js installed on my system because it's throwing an error node is not recognized now just install the node.js Okay, now Node.js is successfully installed. Just finish it. Now up, again open the command prompt and type the same command that is node-v. Now you can see uh, we are getting the output as v10.22.1. That means this version 10.22 is now installed on our machine. Now, uh, as I said earlier, why we do need this Node.js? so to uh, give you the practical example uh, for example uh, let me uh, write some javascript code so i'll define a variable x is equal to 5. now it will throw me an error saying where is not recognized as an command so this means that we cannot run any javascript code without a browser but now if i start my a virtual environment by typing just node and hitting the enter now our virtual environment is now ready now i will again type the same command which is var x is equal to 5 now see it's saying undefined that means this variable is now defined so if i press x i'll get the output as 5 now if i define another variable where y is equal to uh, 5 and then i'll make the addition x plus y so now you can see i have received the output as 10 that means we are actually running the javascript without a browser so this is just a command prompt and in the command prompt we are executing a javascript function so why this is running because our node is in uh, in running mode so if you press ctrl c twice so a node is now um, disabled and if you run the uh, code again it will again say where is not recognized so i hope you have now cleared what act actually the node.js does so now we are done with our first step now the second step is installing gulp so gulp is basically a task runner so you previously have worked with content editor so in that concept what we did is like we write some code in into the html or javascript file and we use that file directly into the content editor but this is not the case in sharepoint framework in sharepoint framework we work with lot of files and folder structure so to do that uh, gulp will help us in bundling those um, files into a single package so that we can use that package and upload it in into the app catalog so we will go to those steps later but for now just understand that gulp is a tool or is a task runner that will help us to build bundle and package the solution now to install the gulp you just need to run this command npm install gulp space hyphen hyphen global hyphen hyphen global stands for installing the gulp globally on your computer so that you do not need to execute these commands again and again you can see that global keyword everywhere so uh, let's first install the gulp to install the gulp copy this command and paste it into your command prompt okay so gulp is now installed so basically uh, the execution happens is like uh, this will make a calls to the server and downloads the necessary file so this installing will be will uh, the installing time depends on your uh, internet bandwidth 
and or the internet speed now the third thing is installing the yeoman and the fourth is installing yeoman sharepoint generator so basically yeoman are uh, the, the scaffolding tools means as i said earlier in sharepoint framework we deal with lot of files and folders so it will be difficult for us to manually create those file and folder structure so this what this yeoman does is like it will um, it will provide us a code template means it will provide us a ready-made folder structure that we need to use to develop our sharepoint framework web parts or extensions so if you see here i have written it like yeoman is a scaffolding tool which will scaffold scaffold is nothing but creating a folder structure or starter template for our sharepoint spfx solutions so that starter template will have a default hello world spfx web part so we will come to this point later uh, maybe in the next video so but for now uh, just remember that yeoman and yeoman sharepoint generator are scaffolding tools that are needed to uh, create a uh, predefined template of code so yeoman basically a scaffold a tool that is required for um, creating spfx and human sharepoint generator is a same tool but it it provides the additional files that are needed particularly for sharepoint human is not restricted to sharepoint so it it is used in many different technologies but for sharepoint we need to install this additional human sharepoint generator so let's now install these two tools so for first one that is normal human just copy this command and paste it into your command prompt okay now human is human installation is completed you can see i have received all the green tick marks here and also it is saying everything looks all right so if you face any errors here please do let me know in the comment section below now the next uh, step is installing the human sharepoint generator so copy this command paste it here hit enter okay now installing human sharepoint generator is also completed i will again say this installation is based on your internet speed so for some for some time it it may take uh, more time to get installed now the final step is installing the self signed developer certificate now when we run our uh, sharepoint framework application into the local workbench i'll come to that point later what is local workbench and all but for just time being just understand that spfx uh, the browser needs uh, some kind of certification uh, some kind of uh, self signed certificate to execute the uh, sharepoint framework code because we are going to execute some kind of code uh, without any https but the browser needs that uh, to execute the code so in that case what we do is generally like we trust the self signed developer certificate and uh, to provide this certificate we need to write this command into the command prompt and this is also a one time activity but we need to perform this activity when we actually develop the application first time so uh, we will uh, execute this command when we write our first uh, sharepoint framework web part and the final uh, step is installing the visual studio code so i guess this is a self explanatory if you go to the official site of uh, visual studio code you can download the latest version of um, uh, uh, visual studio code and that's it so these were the six simple steps i have also noted it down into one uh, infographic so if you see the step one is 
installing node.js which is a runtime environment installing a code editor which we will be using uh, while for creating the spfx web parts then installing the gulp gulp is nothing but a task runner which will help us to build bundle and package our solution then yeoman and your yeoman sharepoint generator are basically scaffolding tools which will provide us a sample template and a last step is trusting the self-signed developer certificate which we are going to do in the next video so uh, while uh, setting up the development environment if you face any challenges please do let me know in the comment section i will try to resolve your queries i hope you like this video if so do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified for all the upcoming updates and finally, thanks for watching and have a nice day.